come your way with another session of time with the traveling secretary from Pensa Tagrade Technical University and Pensa Tagrade Sector. Today, as part of our program, we are going to receive administration from an astute woman of God who happens to be the area women's leader for Takrade Church of Pentecost. And again, she happens to be a lecturer at Takrade Technical University. She also is the patron for Pensa Takrade Technical University. And she will be taking us through self-teaching. As students, as we are in the house, how are we going to learn on our own? How are we going to study on our own? Amidst this COVID-19 situation, viewers join us in this broadcast and we know the Lord is going to bless you so much. Before the speaker takes over, um, our deacon, Bonnie, is going to lead us in a short time of worship, after which we would receive the ministration of Thickness Dr. Gladys Corte. God bless you so much. Yeah, I'm going to 
You deserve to be worshipped, Jesus. Le kabanda la la bosa brande le 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 anda la la ba. Enyo nya me chari wo. and say glory and honor be unto your name. We commit today's service into your hand, Jesus. We pray that spirit divine may come and take control in our service. And your glory and honor will be unto your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we worship your thanksgiving. Amen. the Lord. Christ in you. How are you all? I hope you are staying at home and keeping safe. Make sure you adhere to all the precautions and be safe. You know that very soon COVID-19 will be over and we will meet again. Amen. This evening we are here I want to talk about self-tuition. No, we are home and classes is not going on. 
So we want to take this opportunity to take us through how we can self-teach ourselves, even as we are home. I'll go straight to the presentation. The outline of my presentation will be in this form. We're talking about what at all is self-tuition. Why the need for self-tuition? How is it done? Resources for self-tuition. Also talk about some success stories. And we conclude. Now, self-tuition. When I look through the dictionary, it said that it's the act of teaching oneself. The act of teaching oneself. And according to Malcolm Noel's, Self-teaching or self-learning is defined as a process by which individuals take the initiative with or without the assistance of others in diagnosing their learning needs, formulating learning goals, identifying human and material resources for learning, and evaluating learning outcomes. So from the definition of Malcolm Nurse, there are some key aspects in it I want us to consider. He said it is a process where an individual takes the initiative with or without the assistance of others. You sit down and then you look at your needs, your learning needs, what you need to learn. And then you set out goals. And then you identify how you'll be able to meet those goals through human or material resources. And then, after you have set your goals, you have to evaluate and see whether what you have set out to do, you have been able to do. Now, self-learning is the modern form of learning. It's a new form of learning that is equipping people with skills that are relevant to their daily lives. And this, to us, is a new thing. Because in COVID-19, you are not in a classroom. No teacher is overseeing you. There is no face-to-face -face interaction. Some you don't even have a curriculum or a syllabus to go by. But you have to study. And you have to learn. So it is important for you to teach yourself to learn. Somebody called Benjamin Franklin said that an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Now, there are so many advantages of self-learning. Students, when you self-learn or when you teach yourself to learn, you learn more effectively. Then you also discover about a lot of things about topics. Then it can also boost your self-esteem. Uh, can you imagine if you have be able to go to the internet or set some time apart and then you are able to achieve a certain goal in your life? You will be very, very happy. You will see that indeed you have achieved something. So it boosts self-esteem. And then you can also learn at your own pace. It's not like an academic environment where you have to start lectures maybe at some at six, some at seven, some close as late as eight and nine. But this one, you learn at your own pace. And it also encourages curiosity in that once you want to learn a, a subject, let's say you want to learn about marketing. You just type marketing and then you want to know more. What is marketing? How did marketing come about? Who and who does marketing? So as you, 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 you ponder and you, you, you stretch out, you are more curious. You want to know more about it. And then you find other resources on the topic, which otherwise your lecturers will not have even been uh, able to give to you. Why the need for self-tuition or learning? The first and foremost reason is COVID-19. You are at home. So you need to learn. But I want to take a scripture from 2 Peter 1, five. He said that for this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness and to your faith knowledge. The emphasis is on knowledge. Now even the Bible exhausts us that we should make every effort to add to our knowledge. He said, when you go down, verse 7, he said, and to godliness... This and then, there's something I want to say. He said, for verse 8, he said, For if you uh, possess these qualities in increasing measure, so if you possess knowledge in increasing measure, 
they keep you from being ineffective and unproductive. And then it will also help you to not be nearsighted and blind. So gaining knowledge is very, very important. Even as we are home, I don't want you to sit at home just sleeping and eating and sleeping. No. Get up and teach yourself. There is an art that you can do. Teach yourself. Add to whatever you have knowledge so that you will be able to be effective and productive even when COVID-19 delays or you come back to school. Be effective and productive. Now, I want to continue with the why the need to do self-learning or tuition. When learning, you get to learn other important skills such as time management. You know, when you, you are learning by yourself, you get to know down the lesson, I will teach you how to uh, do self-learning. But when you are uh, learning by yourself, you learn time management. Because the whole day, you can't learn the whole day. And then if you sit down the whole day, nothing will go into your head. There will be distractions and others. So we learn about time ma management. How to effectively use your time. And then self-assessment. Because you remember the definition up there, you said you evaluate your learning outcomes. So you yourself will have the opportunity to assess yourself. Whether you have been able to really grasp the concept you set out to, to learn. And then it also helps you to set goals. Because in self-learning without goals, you will not get anywhere. Again, from the definition, that you set goals. So you set goals. This week, I want to learn about the definitions of marketing. The following week, I want to learn about the ways we do marketing. The following ways, I want to learn about something else. So you set goals. And then you assert yourself. In fact, people who are good at self-learning have an increased ability to develop other skills. As they have, they often have to employ a certain set of skills in order to learn. If you are self-learning, uh, you can't just do it anyhow. And it will help you also gain some skills. Students are able to take responsibility of their own learning. Now, when you are at school, there's a timetable for you. Some people, when they come to school from 8 to 2, they close, they close their books. Their books are also on, 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 on break. But when you are doing self-learning, you see that you are you yourself, you are taking control of your learning. And therefore, you can't close your books at any uh, point in time. Now, how do you do self-teaching uh, or self-learning or self-study? Depending on how you want to call it. Now, for you to be able to do effective self-teaching or self-study or self-learning, there are some points that I will make available to you. One is that you need to know yourself. Know and understand what kind of learner you are. There are so many kinds of learner. There are some people say four. Other people have divided into, into seven. I'll just say a, a bit about it and then we'll go on. But I want to tell you that nobody is a pure breed of one of them. We all use a combination of them. Now, one of the learning styles is that some people learn a visual learners. They do well when they see symbols and boxes and charts and colors. So if you find that you are, if you find that you are such a person, if you send out such a person, then you know that you are a visual learner. You want to see images before you, before you, 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 you know that you are learning. And then there's some people who are verbal learning. They learn when they hear when the information is said to them. Sometimes when somebody is teaching and they give you explanation, some people, by just the explanation, they are okay. They don't even need to go back to their books. They learn by listening. They are called verbal learners. And there's those who are physical uh, learners. They use body and, and, and touch. They are physical bodies. And these people are the ones who do the hands-on. And they have the auditory or musical um, people. Those who learn... Uh, by hearing and, and, and listening. So there are so many uh, learning styles. You need to find out which one you are. Are you a visual learner? Are you a physical learner? Are you an auditory learner? Whichever it is, you see that it will be a combination of all of them. You have a bit here, a bit there, a bit there. And then there's the logical learners. They ask a lot of questions. And then they are the natural thinkers. They can classify things and other things. Some are social learners. They prefer to be uh, in groups. 
Some people are social learners. When they are in groups, they learn best. They want to be in uh, discussion groups and things like that. Some are solitary learners. They want to be by themselves. They spend a lot of time on themselves, enjoying their own company, so that they'll be able to, to learn. So whichever, whichever um, learner you are, first you have to identify it. Some tool, there's a period in which they are very good. Some are day learners, some are night, nocturnal, and a day learners. You have to identify which learner you are. And then, point two, create your own learning space. It can be a single room, but have a table and a chair at the corner with your pen or pencils and paper and a computer or tablet. Place it at the corner. When you do that, subconsciously, you are telling yourself that anytime I get to that corner, it is learning time. So if you don't create that space and you want to learn on your bed and learn, by the time you are you are asleep and you have not learned anything, or you want to sit in the living room where the TV is and be learning, you will not learn anything. Create a space. Create your own learning space. And make sure that you, 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 you go there. And then set goals. As I, I said in the beginning, set goals. What course are you doing? Or what do you want to do? If I want to learn about furniture making, then I will set my goal. Then I want to know everything about it. Is it about chairs? Is it about tables? Is it about beds? You set a goal. And then you make sure that you write it down. Write down your goals. Because it's important for you to write it down so that you can follow. And remember, human beings have a way of forgetting. So you have to write it down. Set your goals, write it down, and then put it there. And then do a timetable by yourself. When you wake up Monday in the morning, 6 to 8, maybe I'll have my devotion. I'm a, a, somebody who is very sharp in the morning. So from 8 to 10, I will take mass. And then with your computer, there are a lot of resources on the computer. You go there and then you learn. And then from 8 to 10, that's when I'm awake. 11 to 12. I'm not very awake. So in 11 to 12, I'll just watch some TV. Relax. Make it flexible so that you can enjoy your, your learning. From 11 to 12, I'll watch TV or listen to some music. Then 12 to 1, I'll have my lunch. Then maybe 1 to 2, I'll come and learn a subject that will not take more, uh, will not uh, require me thinking a lot, like reading. So I'll come and, and do some reading course. Then 2 to 3, I'll go back and do the mass in the morning, try and see if I can work some questions. Then two to three, I'll take a nap or uh, take my lunch. Then six, I'll watch news. So plan your day. For you to be an effective learner, you have to plan your day. Plan your day. Have a, a, a set time that you learn. And then, as you are learning, question the significance of things in your mind. See the, the why, the how, the what of things. So that you are engaging yourself. Because sometimes if you don't engage yourself like that, you doze off. Before you are aware, you are sleeping behind your table. Ask the significance of things. And then seek out interesting challenges. Then monitor your own learning process. Your timetable that you've done. Monitor it. See if you are going according to the timetable. And then understand your own approach. Sometimes bring in some, game, um, some games. Like if you are learning... Um, chemistry, you recite the nine planets in a song or you put some of the um, principles in acronyms and then you sing along. Those things. Just make sure that you are enjoying your learning. And then, there are some success stories that I want to share with you. Even though there are just few, I know that there are a lot more around. And myself, I'm part. I'm also a success story. Now, there is these people that have listed their names. Truman, Capote, Jimi Hendrix, Steve Jobs, and Nikola Tesla. All these people are gone. But one striking thing that they did was that they self-taught themselves the things that shot them into relevance. They self-taught self themselves. You will never think that they will be, but these four people, they had something in common. They sought they taught themselves. And these people are called autodidacts. When somebody self-taught himself and becomes an influence, 
It's called autodidacts, which means that self-taught learners. They just taught themselves. The talent and innovations they have brought to bear on this world is imaginable, but they taught themselves. I don't mean that former, uh, former education is not good. It is very good. It is structured. It causes you to follow a certain kind of path. But this period that I've been given to us is a good period for us to really explore ourselves. This time, nobody is telling you, come and learn. Nobody is telling you that 6 o'clock you have mass. 8 o'clock you have mat um, uh, marketing or anything. But you yourself, you get up, do your timetable and learn. Then you can even go outside the boundary of what you are supposed to learn. So that your mind, you, you broaden your minds. I want to see that by the time you go back to school, you will be an influencer. You will be a dynamite. You will be somebody who is a, a, a force to reckon with because you have broadened your mind, you have broadened your understanding about what, uh, the subject that you are in. Now, Isaac Asimov, he said that self-education is, I believe, the only kind of education there is. That is his um, idea. He thinks that when you self-educate yourself, that's the only kind of education. And brothers and sisters, I want to tell you that the way the world is going, very soon, you'll be doing more self-study, self-teaching yourself. Because we have come to see that we can be here and also be able to teach somebody far away. As you know, T2, we are in a house that we are employing a lot of online resources to be able to connect and engage our students in interaction. And when you do that, and then you are home, you can go further and be able to... Um, Go deeper, dive deeper into what you have been told. I don't want you to make excuses that I don't have a phone, I don't have a computer, I don't have this. My brothers and sisters, this is the time. You are at home. The money that you would have used for um, hiring or uh, renting apartments, you can use it to be able to get some um, gadgets so that you will be able to be relevant and search more on the internet. Don't sit there and fold your hands. Use the time profitably. Now, the fruit of your labor will taste, will taste sweeter when you've taught yourself how to grow them. As such, success is more enjoyable when you self-educate yourself. Eh? It's very, very sweet. I remember when I was in, in secondary school, and I was doing science. I did physics, chemistry, biology in, at A-levels. But there, we didn't have money to be able to go to some of these classes. We took the textbooks, and we taught ourselves. We taught ourselves to sit for the A-level at that time. And we pass by the grace of God. So if I have done it, you can do it. Self-study. Take time and study. There are so many resources for self-study. Now, in Daniel chapter 12, verse 4c, we see that it said, and knowledge will increase. Now, knowledge has indeed increased. All around us, there is knowledge. There are resources that you can use on the internet. There are a lot of YouTube videos about any kind of subject that you, 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 you can think of. It is there. There are subjects that you can make use in textbooks. At first, when we were young, at first when we were young, you have to go to uh, the library somewhere before you can go and get a textbook. But now, the textbooks are at your, at your disposal. The textbooks are at your fingertips. You just click a button and you get a lot of books. And surprisingly, in this period, a lot of the book, uh, books on Amazon and other things are free. There's a lot of resources now. You don't have to buy. You just go there, you click, and whatever subject you want, the textbook is there and it is free. So I want you to use all these resources so that you'll be able to be what God wants you to be. Now, according to psychology today, there's nothing that makes certain people better self-taught learners than others. Some people will think that some people are better at teaching themselves than others. But psychology today says that the only difference between those who teach themselves and those who wait for others to teach them is motivation and their willingness to overcome insecurity. Be motivated. Motivate yourself and learn. And be willing. Sometimes when you are, you are learning, you are, you are learning, you think that it's, you are insecure. You think that, oh, what I'm learning, is it in the right? Is it right? Is it the correct thing? 
Don't be insecure. Motivate yourself and go on. Now, even the concept of learning styles is erroneous. According to psychology today, he said, while each individual is different, ability, ability to learn is not based on preference, but expertise. You can teach yourself to learn. Teach yourself to teach yourself to learn. And then Albert Einstein, he said, wisdom is not a product of schooling, but a lifelong attempt to acquire it. Just attempt to learn. Just attempt to teach yourself. And you'll see that you will be acquiring the needed knowledge. Now, in conclusion, I want to say that in Proverbs 16, 16, it says, having wisdom and understanding is better than having silver or gold. If you really know the worth of the knowledge that you can get, then you will sell anything that you have to be able to get a computer or a smartphone so that you can be able to launch into the world out there and get the resources you need for yourself. It is not a solution for laziness or an excuse for lack of motivation. In many cases, teaching yourself is more work than being taught. Yes, when you, somebody is teaching you, you are sitting somewhere and enjoying. But now, you yourself have to go and search it out. The level of accountability rises when you are both the teacher and, and student. Now you are yourself the teacher and the student. And therefore, it requires more discipline. Without a structured schedule or a guaranteed reward at the end of your effort, your only hope is your dedication. You need to schedule and have, be dedicated. And sometimes you can even award yourself. But first week, if you are able to go through your schedule, you buy yourself a bottle of malt or an apple, or you go and get some jollof and eat. Yeah? So that you tell yourself that I have done well. Just congratulate yourself, I have done well. So I need to reward myself. Beyond this, however, there is only one thing stopping most people from teaching themselves. It's insecurity, fear of failure, and inadequacy holds self-taught. But I, want you, I don't want you to fear. Because this one, you are the teacher and the student. Nobody's going to penalize you. If you fail, you continue and try again. By, constant, by constantly learning and teaching yourself new things, no matter how small or large they might be, you could change the course of your overall health and well-being. You know, whilst you are at home, if you just sleep and sleep and sleep, you are, before you are aware, well, you are somewhere, my head is paining me, my leg is paining you are not well. But put yourself to self-teaching. And you see that you'll be motivated. Your health will even revitalize. And you'll be well. Research even shows that mental stimulation, that is consisting of practicing, memorization, learning new things, improving our skills in existing hobby, is key to slowing down the development of and even reversing uh, dementia. So if you were able to stimulate your mental faculties, you'll be helping yourself. You'll be helping yourself. Now, a motivational speaker and entrepreneur called Jim Rock was noted for saying that formal education will make you a living. Self-education will make you a fortune. Now, self-education is quite, quite huge. As I told you in the beginning, people who shot into prominence, who are influencers of society in all the spheres, one of them was a, a guitarist, one of them was a, a, a playwright, a, a film a writer, one of them was uh, Steve Jobs, who was into Apple and computers. So anything that you do, you self-teach yourself. It will, shot, it will shoot you into, into, into prominence. This does not mean you should abandon the pursuit of formal education. As it often serves as the foundation for self-education. But it does mean we should maintain, cater, and not quench our test for knowledge as possible, as, as much as possible. In Philippians 4.13, all these that I'm saying, somebody will say that, hey, how can I do it? But we thank God that God has told us in Philippians 4.13 that I can do all things through Christ who strengthen me, strengthens me. So I want to say that, yes. You can do it. You can do self-teaching. You can teach yourself all the principles. Let us see that by the time you come back from school, come back to school, you are better than you went because you have self-taught yourself a lot of the principles, a lot of the concepts, a lot of the things that you learn at school. And I think that when you do that, you will shoot into prominence. May the Lord God help you and be with you and guide you even as you learn at home. And I pray that we give you the strength the needed motivation 
to be able to sit and teach yourself. Thank you. Thank you, mommy, and God bless you so much for this wonderful presentation. Uh, currently, um, viewers, we want to encourage you. Your comments, your questions are welcome. Um, we would try and answer every question and also every comment that you pass. We would monitor it for you. Um, let us try as much as we can. Paul told Timothy that steady to show thyself approved. Now, this is this is what I, I, I think is all about self-tuition. The, 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 the man was, or the apostle, was telling the younger pastor that, Pastor, you need to study wherever you are, whether COVID-19 is there or no COVID-19, whether we are not going to lectures or we are not going for lectures or we are sitting in the house. Steady to show thyself approved. And by the grace of God, currently our, in our time, we are, we are more privileged than... Those of our, those people, our fathers who have ever lived, we have everything at our disposal. At the click of a button, you can learn all that you need to learn. So we want to employ all of you, our sisters, our brothers back home. Please learn something. When you go to the internet, you know, recently I was reading something and they were telling us that there is this particular pornographic site and for the few weeks of the lockdown, uh, the number of viewers, the number of people trooping to those sites has escalated. And it is, it, is, it is sad. But we can go to the internet and use it to better ourselves. You can even learn how to prepare soup. Some of our ladies, you don't know even how to prepare soup. You can learn how to make beads. You can learn. So as you study your your, your your books or the course that you are studying, then uh, intermittently you can bring in some of these things. You study how to prepare some drinks yourself, fruit drinks and other things. You study it and you, you do it yourself. And at least it can even earn you something. So please, don't be visiting those sites and, and go and watch movies. And um, No, this is the time you need to study on your own. Then also I want to encourage everyone to take part in the Read Through the Bible Challenge. This challenge that the youth ministry have brought, we need to take part in it. Let us read the Bible. Currently we are at 1 Chronicles chapter 10. And I encourage everyone that let us continue. By 31st December, then you have also finished the whole Bible. And you'll be proud that, yes, I've made it. As Mama said, if you are able to teach yourself, you yourself, you'll be proud of yourself. If you are able to read through the whole Bible in a year, ah, you would also say, yes, I've made it. So study in the house because I know very soon after COVID-19, most of the students, when they get back to school, there will be quizzes, there will be end of semester exams, there will be whatever, there will be whatever. And some of you are also writing your, 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 your thesis. Don't sit in the house and say that um, this is a free period. No. Continue with your thesis. You can send it to your lecturer or your supervisor online. And he would read through and give you the necessary corrections to do. And after you have done everything, you will see that by the time school resumes, you have already, you are already done with your thesis. And you will see that you, you will graduate successfully. I pray that whatever mama has said with us, you would keep it. We want to pray with you. We want to pray with you that God should help us. That we will be able to sit and study on our own. Enti bo wa me ma me su buye wo o fe ejuma enti bo wa me ma me su buye Mammy, 
Now you have made a commitment that from henceforth you are going to study on your own. You are going to teach yourself. You want to want to pray and tell God that God, may you help me that this commitment I would be able to be committed to it. That nothing will distract me. Nothing will move me from the goal that I have set today. I want you to set a goal for yourself. That maybe in the first week, I'll be able to read this number of books. I'll be able to read this number of pages. Just pray and tell God that, oh God, may you help me. That this goal that I have set, this thing that I want to do, you Lord will strengthen me. That I will do it. And I will come out brighter and better than even before I went to the house. Lord, we thank you in the name of Jesus for this word that through our mommy you have said with us. I pray for whoever is watching us, for whoever is listening to us, that you, Lord, will be with us, that even as we are in the house, we will be able to study on our own. Father, help us to be committed to the goals that we have set. We pray in the name of Jesus. Let us not be lazy. Let us not sit down idle, but help us, O oh God, to study and study well. I pray in the name of Jesus, whoever is listening to us right now, whoever is watching us right now, may that passion to study on our own, may that seal to study on our own encapsulate us that we will be able to sit whilst we study your word, we will be able to also study uh, our textbooks, we will be able to study certain things that will help us in life. We want to pray. We thank you in Jesus' name. We want to continue to pray and ask God to give us physical strength. He should give us a stable mind. He should help us. Some of us, the reason why we are not able to study is because when we look at how COVID-19, how the numbers are pushing forward, how people are dying elsewhere, then fear grips us. And because of that, we, we, we tend to ask ourselves, are we also going to die or are we also going to get it? And because of this fear, most of the times, fear causes people not to move forward. You can do it. Listen, sister, you can also do it. You can study on your own and write and pass. Don't tell yourself, I can't do it. It is fear that is putting you to say that. But today, I want to encourage you. Take that fear out of your life. And God is going to be with you. So we want to pray that, oh God, may you take away all my fears. And help me to study and study on my own very well. Open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. I pray that you, Lord, will help us, oh God, that we will be able to deal with our fear, that we will stop every procrastination spirit, that we will never procrastinate, but rather, when we pick our books, we will never say, no, I want to learn in the next hour, but as we pick it, we will learn there and then, we will study there and then, we will never relent on whatever we want to do, but your seal will encapsulate us and help us to study on our own. We thank you. We bless you. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you for this hour. Through our mommy, you have been able to expound to us how we can study on our own. We pray in the name of Jesus for our listeners and our viewers. Wherever they find yourself, may you be with them. And may you help them that they can study on their own. Lord, this is the time, this is the era that technology is advancing. And knowledge has also increased. But people are using this technology and knowledge for things that does not please you. But we pray for our hearers. That, but for them, they would use it for your glory. They will study on their own. They will study their textbook. They will study the scriptures and they will live right for you. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. Father, may you keep us safe. May you hide us in your pavilion. We commit our mommy, Dr. Gladys Cotte, into your hands. 
continue to breathe on her. Continue to breathe on her. That the next time when she stands, she will be able to give us even more than she did today. We thank you. We thank you. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Viewers, God bless you wherever you are. I also want to tell you this. That without Christ, we can do nothing. One thing that you should understand is, mommy said, because we have Christ, we can do all things. So if you don't have Jesus Christ, you can set the goals. You can do whatever you want to do. But you will not be able to achieve those goals. I want to encourage you. If you want to accept the Lord Jesus today, do it now. Because today is the day of salvation. If you want to accept the Lord Jesus, may you say these things after me. Lord Jesus, I thank you. I thank you for dying on the cross for me. I thank you for forgiving me all my sins. Today, I accept you as my Lord and my personal Savior. Rule over my life and reign in my heart. Above all, write my name in the book of life so that when you come, I'll be counted among the saints. I thank you for forgiving me all my sins. I thank you that you have accepted me as your son. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have prayed this prayer, I want to encourage you. I always say the church of Pentecost is more than empty end. Everywhere you go, you will see a signboard. Get there, join the church, and the Lord will bless you. Or you can follow us through Pen TV or the various social media handles of the church and you would be hearing sound biblical teachings which will help you to grow in Christ. God bless you so much. God willing, on Wednesday, Pen Satakrade Sector will be coming your way same time, 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. with another live broadcast. So wherever you are, as you are drawing your timetable for, uh, for self-tuition, make sure that you block 5 p.m., 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. every Wednesday, 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. every Friday, and 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. every Sunday, that you'll be with us in our broadcast. The youth ministry of the church has also put in place so many interventions in this COVID-19 season. Make sure you take part, and the Lord will bless you so much. Again, God willing, tomorrow, 7 p.m., the youth ministry will be live on Penn TV, and also the various social media handles. Um, we bring to you youth ministry service. And we pray that you join us. And again, on Saturday, from 11 a.m. to 12 a.m., we will be on Pen TV. That is for the youth ministry of the Church of Pentecost. Join us, and the Lord will bless you so much. Wherever that you are, I pray that you will study on your own, and you will be better off after COVID-19 than you were before. God bless you and keep you. Amen.